Hi guys, welcome to the installation video of the T238 MOSFET. It's been much requested and uh, well yeah, I usually don't do videos uh, or these tutorials or something something like this. This will be my uh, my first, so uh, be kind please. And if you have any tips or something for me, please let me know in the comments down below because uh, yeah, I'm always happy to learn and uh, yeah. My English uh, I hope is sufficient for you because it's not my native tongue so I hope I make some sense if there's something you didn't understand or I, I said wrong or something. Let me know as well because I'm always happy to learn um, and I would like to give the correct information to you and not, uh, well, yeah, I, um, if, if you can correct me, please do because uh, it's it's important that the right information uh, gets passed along because yeah, there's a lot of misinformation already in the ASOP community. So yeah, well, let's get to it. So what I did was uh, the three, there are going to be three wires from the MOSFET to the DEANS connector and one, or sorry about that, there are going to be two wires to the DEANS connector and one wire from the MOSFET going to the motor. The negative, the black one is, going, is coming from the, from the MOSFET side and the other two are going to the DEANS connector. Let me show you on the new MOSFET that we're going to install what's on there. As you can see, it has the M negative, V negative, and V positive. Uh, the M negative is for the motor negative. So the black wire that you saw is going from the M negative straight to the motor. Uh, the V negative is going from uh, the MOSFET to the Dean's connector. Um, also, the V positive is the signal wire. So you can use a, a thinner wire for the signal wire, like a 20 gauge, if you'd like. Um, I personally use uh, 18 gauge because that's what I have and that's what I use and it fits fine. Mm, if you can see, uh, I've already removed the, let me zoom out for you, already removed the heat shrink. I usually use a heat shrink around this part, like with between the thumbs to protect uh, the wires for from damage from the um, from the bolt that goes into the buffer tube, so you don't damage the wires. As you can see, we have two wires, two positive wires from the Dean's connector, and one is this one is going. Oh, it's stuck. This one is going down to the motor. And the other one is the signal wire. That one is going to below there. That's the V positive, so that's the signal wire. And the black one, that's the negative from the Deans, is going to the V negative up there. So, sorry guys, I couldn't do a, a two times speed uh, soldering. Um, video just because yeah I'm not a master in, uh, in soldering and um, it's really hard for me to solder um, with the camera in this way so yeah um, sorry about that if there's a uh, demand for it then I'll try to um, try to make that one as well just for the video uh, but for now just let me show you what I did um, what I did was I, I put some solder uh, on the MOSFET let me get the other one so you can see probably properly. I uh, did some solder on the MOSFET and on the um, on the wire as well, and then heated it up so it joined together. That's usually how you how you solder a wire together or to the inch connector or whatever. And it's pretty hard to solder on the on the MOSFET uh, itself. Uh, be sure to use a, a, a small tip. What I use or what I like to use is is a tip like this. You see. It's a small, well, it's a little bit dirty now, but it's it's a, it's a small tip with with a, a flattened side, if you can see. Yeah, there we go. It's more flat on the sides, so you can just um, get the solder uh, on there and then put it on the MOSFET as well. Heat, it, heat the MOSFET a little bit up, or only the, the gold contact points, so it joins together. Um, so as you can see in this gearbox, I already will reshape the wires. So it's, it's on there now. I soldered them 
on the spots that they need to be. As you can see, I put the signal wire, it goes over the, I put that one first and that one goes um, well a little bit round because you have to go over this hole for the trigger um, and the other two wires go around it. So that one, that that way you use the, the, the width uh, most so it, it's, it's flat and more so it doesn't interfere with, interfere with the trigger. Um, also, if you can see the other wires, there will be, will be, when the gearbox closes, it will be really flush with the gearbox. So no wires uh, intruding or uh, interfering with the motor. It's really important, otherwise you get a short. And then, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't have like an electronic, electronic fuse or something like that. So if it burns out, it burns out. Not like the Titan, you can just reset it and, and go again. It's something I, I noted to them and they said to put the fuse in, in line, but yeah, it doesn't really work that way. I mean, like usually when they burn out, it's usually like a, like a peak, peak amperage that they burn out, or at least what I, in my experience, and the, the amp just isn't too, is just too slow to, to, um, uh, to keep that up. Um, well, like I said, you can see I pre-shaped it. The, the wires, well, we already got uh, gone over the, the routing of the wires just for uh, for uh, for the video's sake. I'll, I'll do it again to show you exactly what uh, what we did. Like, as you can show here, I did it a little bit different, but um, yeah, it works the same way. First thing you do is the red signal wire that goes to the Deans, so the 45 centimeters wire. You do it to the contacts and then one, then the second one, this one up top, this one is the negative to the Deans. That's one, that's the, the wire you do second. And then the last one is the motor negative. You do the as last, as third. So it stays on top and it pushes the other two wires down on the onto the gearbox because that one doesn't go underneath the motor. So it doesn't um, intervene with the, uh, uh, with any uh, motor adjustment that you want to do or anything. Um, so what we have now is um, we've connected the MOSFET, that we connected the wires to the MOSFET. What we don't, what we haven't done yet is um, put on the spade connectors to the uh, to the motor contact, and uh, you see these two wires here, but we're only missing the positive for the motor that's over here uh, what we're going to do next is going to solder um, these wires to Dean's I think that's easiest to do right now and to show you um, exactly what I do or not exactly because yeah like I said it's pretty hard to solder and video at the same time so I'm going to try to show you what I do and maybe I can show you how I do it uh, when um, on video sorry if, like I said my English is my first language so it's pretty hard for me to find a word sometimes it's easier to type than it is to speak so again sorry um, as you can see uh, I've put the wires in, in, in proper length for the motor grip what I usually do is I put the grip on and I, I, I put the wires through so I can see that they have enough room underneath to um, uh, to connect to the motor, that's really important. Otherwise, you have to re rewire again, and that's something you really want to do. Uh, as you can see, the wire, uh, the motor wire, as well as from the negative as the positive, goes on top, so it pushes the other two down. What you can do as well is you have the gap over here where they're going, where the wires are going through. You can always drummel that down so you have a little bit more room. Uh, I didn't do it with this one because it's okay um, I could do it but then again uh, now it pushes the wire down properly properly and yeah I don't see anything uh, uh, I don't see any reason to do it uh, so if you follow the wire to the end you can see here the two wires that I already stripped I already stripped so um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get some heat shrink with uh, glue because the heat shrink with glue uh, I always like to, to use that on the on the context of the 
on the motor uh, spade connectors and uh, on the Dean's connectors. And the reason for this is because they glue together so they stay better because yeah, they have to protect um, that area for short circuiting. So uh, to me, it's very important to do that correctly. What are you necessary? So now you get these three wires. And just get them through. There we go. As you can see, it's a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it to a shorter length. So that's better. And now for the other heat shrink, like so. Okay, so double check again if your wires are uh, the proper length in the gearbox. What you're going to do next is lift it up so you can put on the heat shrink a little bit further so it doesn't shrink when you're uh, uh, soldering because uh, the wires itself get hot as well um, now i just need some black heat shrink for the um, uh, for the black wire this one can be a little bit smaller let me see if i have the correct size yeah that's fine because yeah it's just one wire not two There we go. So put that on as well. Okay, so if you've done your soldering on two Dean's connector, it should be looking like this. That, like this. I've used the glue heat shrink, so they're joined together. Uh, then the black heat shrink, I haven't. Um, I haven't heated it yet, so it's still uh, there's still room for some wiggling if it's if it's necessary. The gearbox itself, well, all the wires are in. The connectors, spade connectors as well. Like I said, I don't I don't think I need to show you how to uh, solder those on because yeah, if you open your gearbox and you're this far in, then you probably know how to do it, and if not. YouTube has a lot of videos covering that, so it's going to be a long video uh, and I don't want to make it too long. If for my taste it's already too long, I, I hoped it would be, be uh, within 10 minutes, but okay. Um, what we do now is we're going to secure the MOSFET. So what we do, we use the the screw, uh, the, the screw from the trigger contacts, like you if you can see they're used a lot so they're a little beat up but they're fine it's it's because it's like if, if it's the mushroom type screw that's fine because then it keeps the um, the mosfet down better so the pressure is equally distributed and that's a hard word for me distributed yeah well I'm going to I'm going to uh, try to improve my English there we go so now it's in so don't go too fast for the last bit if you feel a little bit of resistance check to see if the MOSFET goes uh, if, if it's flush and if it goes all the way on every side so it doesn't stick um, double check if the wires still are connected so um, that they're still fine that everything still works and is flush and isn't um well this one fits really nicely i had some i had some issues with the with the ics a little bit because i had to drum a little, a little bit um out because otherwise it couldn't couldn't fit but this well the gng fits perfectly i've, I've fitted now i think three no four g four um four of these mosfets in a gng gearbox so um yeah well this is the fourth one I fitted three and this is number four. Um, well, as you can see, everything's in now. So, well, I think that's about it. What I usually do, I, I, dis I assemble the gearbox and when everything's assembled and everything works, I heat up this guy. Uh, just because uh, it's a lot of heat shrink and if you do it again and if, if you make a, made a mistake, yeah, well, 
you have to um, undo this and yeah it's a lot of heat shrink and uh, yeah i'm cheap i don't like to throw it away so <laughs> i uh, i always do that last when the gearbox is closed and it works so next step we do now is is install the the gears and all the co compression components um etc 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 um also the motor grip and then test to see if it works and if it works properly if you get any um, noises signals or if something's wrong uh, if so check again if not then reassemble the whole gun but yeah and then you can uh, heat up the heat shrink so it uh, it's solid um, well again thanks uh, for uh, for your patience uh, waiting on this installation video I hope it was uh, informal enough for you I'm sorry I couldn't show you the all the soldering compartment because yeah I'm, I'm left-handed and the thing is right and the cable is really short and the video thing is on its way well all kinds of, of excuses I couldn't do it but um, if you really would like to see it maybe I can find a way to, to, to show it to you but I think you know how to solder so that shouldn't be a problem um when it's assembled uh, it should be working probably probably uh, if not if you have any questions with the installation video if you have questions regarding uh, what well, where i get my wiring and stuff and uh, i don't know just uh, leave it down in the comments i'll um, i hope uh, I'll, I'll check them regularly uh, if i see something i always try to respond and um, well like i said if you have any tips on uh, on some videos I'm not a I'm not a professional vi um, YouTube um, um, yeah not a professional YouTuber, so I'm not planning on to doing a lot of tutorial videos or something. But there was just so many requests for this one that I thought, well, uh, let's give it a go. Well, uh, thanks guys, and take care.